Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nathan here, World of Masters. I'm super excited today because it's one of my favorite weeks of all time, CES. And it's CES of 2021. There's some great products out there. And if you may not know, that CES is all virtual, online. So there's actually no crowd of people. They're actually all online. So it's very interesting how CES is set up this year. But it's really cool. There's some great products coming out this year. So, yesterday I covered the Roblox S7, which has a self-emptying bin. That's a first for Roblox. So check out that video if you want to learn everything about the new Roblox S7. But today in this video, we're going to talk about the new Samsung World Vacuum. Yes, Samsung wants to get in the game with the self-emptying bin. And it's called the Samsung JetBot 90 AI+. Plus. What? That's crazy. That is the craziest naming scheme I've ever seen for World Vacuum. Whoever came up with that name should be fired. I'm just going to call it the Samsung JetBot 90 or just AI Plus for short. So, yes, this guy has a self-emptying bin. So let's go ahead and check out the picture here. I'm going to scroll down using my smartphone. And check it out, guys. This is actually a really cool-looking Roblox vacuum. So you notice the self-emptying bin in the background. It's actually a white color scheme. And the Roblox vacuum is actually pretty cool itself. It has kind of like a dome shape up top. And it has a front uh, extractor bar up front. Or like a wide base. So I assume that's where the extractor bar is. Also, you may notice that in the back there's the LiDAR sensor. But I'm going to show you some footage of this guy running. Um, what Samsung says is this guy has 30 watts of power. The self-emptying bin. It sits pretty tall. I think it's probably about the same height as like the iRobot system. Also, it's a bag system. So it's using disposable bags. And you get about 2-3 to three months worth of use on each bag. Now, if you notice closely in the back of this robot vacuum, you notice the LiDAR sensor. This is actually a LiDAR sensor that pops up automatically. So this design is actually pretty smart because once the world vacuum is 9 years, you probably don't want to get dust and debris in your LiDAR sensor. So having it retract inside its body helps protect the LiDAR sensor. I know that like on the T8s, uh, they actually have a protective covering around the LiDAR housing, but most world vacuums have an exposed LiDAR sensor. So that's pretty smart of Samsung to actually have a retractable LiDAR housing. Now, notice the design of the robot. It's actually very interesting. It's not a traditional round robot. It actually, they took it kind of outside the box and designed a very cool looking world vacuum. Now, I have some uh, pros and cons to this design. Just from my perspective, I think the design is, sits up a little too tall. So it probably will struggle with like low hanging furniture. Also with the sharp edges, I hope that the navigation is really good. Because with other D-shaped uh, vacuums, the corners can get hung up on furniture. Um, so what's different between like the Samsung PowerBots? That's what Samsung's been calling their signature world of vacuums is. It's using a completely different design. Uh, using LiDAR now instead of camera-based navigation. Also, the robot vacuum has a 3D sensor, so it can recognize different objects. Shoes, shoe strings, power cables. Also, looks like it can recognize pets, so that's definitely a plus. So, let's go and uh, scroll down here. So, there's not a lot of information about this robot vacuum. Um, there's no pricing, but just from a standpoint of what Samsung's been doing in the past, it's probably going to be a premium over $1,000. I know like the Samsung uh, PowerBot Turbo was like $1,500, so I'm pretty sure this guy's going to be quite expensive. So, like the T8 AIVI and the uh, Roblox S6 Max V, it has a camera system, so you can use it as a mobile security device. Uh, some people like that feature, some people don't. So, it makes sense if you're like a pet owner, you want to check up on your pets and see what they're doing. If they're getting the mischief, uh, what Samsung's commercial has been showing is you can actually launch their app and control different appliances all at once so you can keep your pets happy so that's very very cool okay so Samsung says it has new 3D sensor and the AI is actually controlled by Intel's chip um, so it's actually quite interesting how this new AI algorithm is going to work um, just from what I experienced like with the TA AI VI and the Roblox S6 Max V I found that there should be some improvements with the navigation and the overall uh, object recognition. So we'll see if Samsung can improve on that. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. So it works with the SmartThings app. That's basically uh, the hub for all the smart uh, Samsung appliances. Uh, Samsung doesn't just do well vacuums. You may know they do smartphones, they do smart fridges, washers and dryers. They do a bunch of uh, consumer-based electronics. Um, they say this world vacuum has no-go zones and in one of the video clips, uh, it's showing a person actually dropping down a pin, telling the vacuum to go to that selected area. I don't know if this robot vacuum has room select, but it does have the uh, keep out zones, so that's a nice plus. We'll see uh, what features this robot vacuum has once there's more uh, information available. 
Okay, so let's go and uh, scroll down here, and that's basically it. There's not a whole lot of information, but let's go and jump into the actual video. I just kind of give you my thoughts. Pause it right here. So here's a look at the design. It's actually pretty cool. So you may notice that uh, 3D sensor right there. It's just like this black window. Then right above it is the camera system. So just from the looks of it, it only has a single camera. And then off to the left and right are actually infrared sensors. There's a bunch of infrared sensors all around the robot. Now if you look closely, there's actually a couple wheels on the side of the robot. So it'll help prevent uh, scrapes along your walls. Now I don't see any like uh, side brushes, so we'll see how well this robot vacuum does along the edges. I know Samsung has taken different approaches to getting dirt from the baseboards. Uh, one approach was like a little scraper that went down and pulled the dirt away. While I tried this method, it didn't work so well because sometimes your know, walls are curved or you have odd shapes, so the little scraper uh, sometimes didn't get the dirt and debris away. So just from my personal experience, I found that side brushes are the best method of getting the dirt and debris around. Now I know that LG tried to do this with like just using a suction, so I assume that Samsung's going to use the same method where they're just going to rely on suction to pull the debris away from your uh, baseboards. Okay, so another thing I noticed is how high it sits up from the ground. So like with most self-emptying systems, the world back will sit on actual like plastic base. Um, it's very interesting and you may notice that the LiDAR sensor is actually down in the bio the world vacuum. Alright, let's keep on going here. So here's a quick look at the navigation abilities of the world vacuum. And you can see the self-emptying bin in the background. Okay, so here's another angle shot of the world vacuum. Uh, it's very cool. I really like the design of it. Kind of looks like Johnny Five. If you ever seen that uh, movie about the robot that kind of roams around and is alive, uh, it has the same kind of like tread pattern or styling. So that's very very cool. Um, I don't know what do you guys think about the design of this world vacuum. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, I have mixed feelings about this, but it's definitely something that stands out from the crowd. It's not your traditional round style robot. Okay, let's keep on moving. Okay, so here's a quick close-up shot of the actual sensors. You notice the little black uh, bars there. Uh, those are the infrared sensors. And that middle sensor is the camera. And then down below is the 3D sensor. I'm trying to determine if this is like a uh, laser-based 3D sensor or if it's like more of a uh, projection base. I know some people are saying that some of our vacuums that have a 3D sensor use like a dot matrix projection, which is similar to like the FaceTime unlock. I'm not 100% sure how this 3D sensor works. I'm going to try to research more on that. Let's keep on uh, moving. Okay, so here's a traditional uh, vacuum that just uses infrared sensors. And with the Samsung, it actually has multi-points. And you can see how well it navigates these cores and also these different objects. Now, here's the downside is there's no side thrust. So I'm really curious how well it's going to go around the edges and pick up that dirt and debris. Okay, so let's pause it again. So here's a look at the uh, bag system. So it's a disposable bag, but again, it holds about two to three months worth of dirt. And it looks like it's pretty easy to remove the bag and dispose of it and install a new one. Check out the app here. So up top is the charging, uh, the percentage of battery life. Now right below that is the mode, so you can actually change the vacuum levels. This uses cyclonic technology, so it should have pretty good suction. This is something that Samsung's done in their PowerBot series. Now right below that is a repeat option. What this does is if you enable it, it actually lets the world vacuum run until the battery runs out. I'm not sure what the battery life is, um, so we'll definitely see. It's probably on par with most robot vacuums, maybe hour and a half to two hours. Now, you have a cleaning report, so it gives you the meter squares, also gives you the duration of how long the robot vacuum took on a cleaning session. And we got Bixi, yes, that's Samsung's voice assistant. So we'll see how well the Bixi integration is. And it looks like we have home monitoring, that's the security camera. I'm not sure if it uses audio as well as visual, maybe it's just visual. And we also have the no entry, uh, no go zones. So I'm not sure if this guy just has no go zones or you can also do like room select or area select. So I'm excited to see uh, what the features entail. Okay, let's keep on going here. Okay, so let's look at the map here. So it looks like they just mapped out a uh, square, but it looks like you can map out your entire floor plan. And it does look like there's a feature where you can drop down like an area where the world vacuum can clean. And let me demonstrate how this works. You can see that there's a live uh, video feed 
and the robot actually scanning the area and once it scans the area it will actually go out to that area. So that's really cool. Uh, definitely great for checking on your pets. So there's the naming convention. Jetbot 98i Plus has AI enhanced cleaning, has jet live home monitoring, auto dust emptying, also filters out 99.9999% of the dust. So it probably is a HEPA rated filter and it has 30 watts of suction power, LiDAR sensor, no go zones, and cleaning reports. So very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and check out Samsung's uh, commercial here. So it looks like the world vacuum detected a uh, dog and the dog is trying to get their household cat. And it looks like the pets are having fun running around the house uh, making a big mess. So um, if I ever had this big of a mess at my house, I would definitely could use a little vacuum. Yep, so it looks like the pets are doing what pets do. Sometimes when they left their home, they will make a giant mess. And we got the Samsung that's eager to uh, pick up the mess. So this is probably just a rendered image, but basically the little vacuum can navigate these chair legs and pick up these uh, dirt and debris. So that's really cool. Again, I'm kind of curious how well it does around the table legs and also around the edges. Uh, Samsung is kind of showing off like how you can use the Smart Things app to control various products. So you can control your air conditioner. You can also turn on a TV. Maybe turn on some music for your pets so they kind of settle down. So this is actually a pretty cool commercial. So they incorporate the World well, Vacuum's camera system to monitor your pets. Also, they use the Smart Things app to control different uh, appliances. So very, very cool. So I'm actually really excited to try out this new World uh, Vacuum. I want to see how well the self-emptying bin does. Also, I really like Samsung products. I do own the Samsung smartphone and they've been a pretty good company. So I'm excited to see how well this new World uh, Vacuum does. So stay tuned. I'll try to give you more information on this JetBot 90. So until then, you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you guys next time. See you later.